Agency Podcast. I'm Charlie Knapp. I'm Derek Kaufman. And if you don't know who Derek is, well, he is one of our big, amazing attorneys here at the TMZ office. Oh, glad to be here. And I used to host this thing from that chair. You know? I, <laughs> I, I think people are aware. <laughs> he also has one of his own podcasts here. Yeah, I'm on the Last Days podcast, so if you're interested in the celebrity deaths that we cover, uh, check it out. Well, thank you for filling in for Charlie Cotton. Happy to be here. You know, you might replace him if little... you do pretty well, so we'll see. I we'll smell see. a little bit better. Let's go. <laughs> All right, we got a lot to talk about today. Uh, starting off with Travis Scott. He has been arrested in Miami Beach. Oh, the mugshot is pretty crazy. This has been a week of mugshots. Man. I know. These are what celebrity is happening? Every week. It's it's almost summer, or it is summer it officially is. today. So lots of trouble coming. Um, and then also we'll get into Justin Timberlake. He has no plans to go to rehab post DUI DWI arrest. Um, and then also J Lo surfacing in Italy without Ben, without the kids. It's starting to look grim. Oh Over yeah, it is. Land. It looks over. Um, and then lastly, we'll get into a big oil spray that had happened by some protesters. They were targeting Taylor Swift's plane, and they were arrested. Ooh, I want to talk about that one because I've got an interesting take. I want to get your views. on. Whoa, spicy. Okay, so let's start with Travis Scott. He was arrested in Miami Beach. Um, cops say that it came out to a marina near Miami Beach where there was a boat there. Travis Scott was apparently on the boat. He got into some kind of altercation um, with someone that was on the boat. They were arguing. The person on the boat said, get him out of, out of here, talking about Travis. He basically left and then returned five minutes later and apparently was yelling at the people on the boat. Cops say he got disorderly and they arrested him. Yeah, it sounds like a chaotic scene because I read the police report and it sounds like he just didn't want the party to end. He was on a yacht, <laughs> had some friends. Cops say, look, you got to go. Night's over. And initially he leaves. But five minutes later, he comes back and that's when they're like, look, you reek a booze. You're disorderly. We got to cuff you. He gets hit with the two charges. I think it's disorderly conduct public drunkenness, some, some, something like that. Disorderly intoxication charge. Yes, disorderly intoxication, so a little combo. And, <laughs> um, you know, we get a mugshot of him, and he actually doesn't look as, to me, glassy-eyed as, like, Justin Timberlake. Oh, did he look yeah. Did he look as as out of it? He looked no. like he was a little bit angry. That he the looks night was alert, yeah, yeah, but he definitely looks like, oh, man, really? Because he has been arrested before. This isn't, like, a new thing. He this, got arrested for inc inciting, inciting a, riot. a riot. Yeah, you look, he gets, he gets rowdy. He likes to party a little yeah. bit. I don't understand why, at the end of the night, when things have gone so well that you want to end in a jail cell. I, that, that to me, it seems like an unforced error. It's one thing if you make a stupid judgment, you get in a car and you drive. But here he was asked to leave. The cops are sort of in the report at least saying, hey, man, get out of here. And, right. and, night and he over. did. He did. And he leave. leaves and then he comes circles back. I know, because I feel like there's so many people that want to have the last word. Yes. They can't just let it go. I feel like this is a man thing. I hate to like, <laughs> go there. But it's like you can't just walk away and like leave it there. Yeah. Like you have to come back and be like, well, you know what? Da, 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 da. And that's kind of what he did. By the way, they said he never got violent. It was just a verbal exchange. Change, yeah, I think, but... you know, you're ordered by the cops to get away. He's a celebrity, probably has some ego on him. He's yeah. also maybe a stubborn man who wants to get in the last word. And it just ends poorly. You're not going to win an argument against the cops in the moment. You may get to sue them later. They may have a rough job. You may have all these. You'll have your day in court. But you're you're going to lose that battle. That That's that's a known thing. I just want to know what happened on the boat. Like, why did it get so tense? Like, we don't know what the narrative is as to what, like, the argument was about. Right. But, I mean, why is it ending like, hey, you're mean. You're being mean. Yeah. Like, it's come on. Like, it's just so leave. I know. he's the, the thing about this is this was maybe cute when Travis Scott was, like, a younger star. But he's a guy with kids now. You right. Know, still doing the, like, arrest off of a yacht. I know he's a rock star and a, a party animal, but chill out a little bit. And this is kind of piling on to a lot of other things that he's dealing with. Remember, there was that huge crowd surge during his 2021 Astroworld Festival that left multiple people dead. He's still dealing with some of the civil suits. Um, with that, and then obviously, like we said, like he's also been arrested in the past. It's like, come on, at a point you want to like grow up a little bit. I would think so. I mean, he's got children. He's got to set an example at some point. But this was just a bad night. I don't think this will end up being like sort of a the big worst deal. thing going yeah. for him. But he'll he'll be able to handle it. But it's not a good night. Yeah. So moving on to another arrest that we've reported on this week, Justin Timberlake. He has no plans to go to rehab, which is kind of like the playbook for any celebrity that has been arrested. They kind of want to prove to the judge, like, look, I'm taking this 
seriously. I'm going to go to rehab. I'm going to get help. Yeah. And it kind of helps their case. It does. Although I love that he's not taking the usual playbook, right? Yeah. I mean, this is a guy who made a mistake. I think he's going to own up to the mistake. You don't have to go to rehab. Not everyone's an alcoholic. Some people right. just make a bad mistake in a night. I, I, you know, look, I think it's unforgivable to get behind the wheel when you are drunk. You can harm someone else. You can harm yourself. It was a bad, bad night. But no one did get harmed. He should take accountability. He should handle it in court. You don't need to go to rehab unless he has a real problem. Now, I don't right. know. You know and some of well, the history of Justin Timberlake. Is he known as a heavy drinker? But well, there have been under control? there have been a ton of reports kind of snowballing ever since this arrest came out, basically saying that he is a drunk. Uh, there were some reports that he was like taking other people's drinks and guzzling them down before he got behind the wheel of the car. Look, we're told from people around him that he always is keeping it together, that yeah. they haven't really seen any signs of of Justin getting crazy. He has spoken about um, some alcohol stuff in the past. Like, remember when he was uh, wrapped up in that cheating scandal oh, with his yes. co-star? Yes. I, I believe somewhere in his statement when he was apologizing, he had said, like, or maybe there was, like, reports at the time that he had a little bit mu too much to drink, and that was kind of, like, what they were leaning it on. Um, and there's some old interviews, too, where he talks about partying and stuff. But, Look, does he have a real problem? I feel like people around him hopefully would tell him if yep. he did or not. But we know that he has no intention of going to rehab, and it seems like he doesn't feel like he has a problem. Yeah, I mean, one of the definitions is, is it severely impacting your life? And it looks like he's a father with a healthy marriage, as far as we can see, with Jessica yeah. Biel. Who knows <laughs> what goes on behind the scenes? But it doesn't look like it's severely impacting his life. You look at people who had real problems, like Lindsay Lohan was getting in a lot of trouble all at once. Right. Britney Spears, obviously, And she did go to rehab. Problems. And she did go to rehab. So maybe, this is not to say that he doesn't need it or he does, but it doesn't look from the outside like his life is out of control. This looks like sort of a bad night that he needs to handle, but I don't think he needs to use the playbook. That was just my take. And it sounds yeah. like his lawyer will just handle it in court. They'll look at the body cam, see how bad this actually was. Well, it looks like they're going to fight this. Yeah. Like, they don't want to say he was drunk. And remember, he had refused that breathalyzer test. So they don't really know exactly how much was in his system. And I, it, they didn't take blood work from no, him. No, he, so. he refused the breathalyzer, which is that is part of the playbook that your yeah. lawyers say, hey, we'll fight this in court. But if you blow, that's it. That's yeah, the game they've over. got it on record. But right. it doesn't seem like they have anything on, on record. It's like your word versus ours. The cops obviously did say in the report he had like glassy eyes. They smelled alcohol in his breath. Like there were certain things. They claimed he blew through the stop sign. He was swerving. Sure. But can they prove? Well, the body cam will tell some story, right? Remember Tiger Woods had a body cam. Yes. You sort of knew what was going on. If, if Justin looks like Tiger Woods, he's going to have gonna a It's going to be hard. Fighting. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So moving on to J-Lo. Obviously, we know her marriage is on the rocks with Ben. Well, it looks like more signs pointing to them splitting because she serviced in Italy. We got a video and a photo of her possibly out with some friends, maybe some colleagues of hers that work for her. Um, but she was out there having a great time. No Ben. It feels like they're living separately. So I'm wondering, what is the delay now, right? I mean, it right. sounds like the, the news media. she is still media, wearing her ring. She's wearing like, the ring. She's uh, separately in Italy and taking trips to the to Europe with, without her husband. He has uh, been seen out with his kids more, his kids with Jennifer Garner, looking a little bit... A little bit lighter, you know, it looks happier. like a little happier than he has seemed in many of the pictures we've seen during this marriage. So maybe it was unhappy, but I know they're trying to sell the $60 million house. I'm wondering what is causing the delay. Is there is there work being done behind the scenes? Are they going to couples counseling? Is something happening where this maybe could pull out of this nosedive? I mean, it's definitely possible, too, that they're taking time apart to try to refine that flame, that spark. You know, they say when um, absence makes the heart grow fonder. Sure. Maybe that's the play that they're trying to do here. We have seen them with their rings. Ben wears it, doesn't wear it, wears it again. So it's kind of confusing. But like you said, Derek, they're selling that $60 million house that they just bought last year. They put a ton of money to improve that home. And yeah. then they're just like, Goodbye. Yeah, it looks like they've thrown in the towel on the marriage. Yeah. I mean, that's what it looks like. But maybe you're right. I mean, they are both older. This is their second go around. Maybe they don't want to do something impulsively. Maybe emotions are running high. They don't want to run to divorce court and immediately file because then it really gets the ball rolling. Lawyers get involved. It gets contentious. So maybe there's some shred of something. I know there's a lot of missed warning signs. We've done a documentary on mm -hmm. this is basically kaput. I know Harvey has said many times, this looks, this is over. This, yeah. This is over. And if you're traveling without your significant other, it looks like, especially if you're, you're feeling single, even if you still have like a little tie to somebody, if you're feeling single, you're in another country, there's hot Italian men. Yes. I mean, there's going to be a lot of temptation, a lot of, a lot of reflecting, like, can I do this single? But also she like, she does fall in love quickly. She falls in so. love quick. 
fast, hard, but also she's like never really been single. Yeah. There's always somebody waiting in in the sidelines, like an understudy ready yeah. to go. Um, she loves being in love. It is very yes. clear to me that she likes companionship. I have a question about Ben. So Ben has now been seen a lot with his kids. He does seem happier. He's going to the graduations. He's hanging out a little bit more with Jen Garner. <laughs> I'm not saying that'll rekindle, but how do... She's she's with somebody. She's with someone, yeah. yeah. She, she, she's together, but he's he's becoming more of a present father figure, at least in the pictures that we've seen. How do people feel about that, that just because his marriage is going poorly... Do the kids feel like, hey, we're runner up now that he doesn't have his hot like wife, J-Lo, and that's right. going poorly. Thanks, Dad. Thanks. You're going to do a bike ride with me now. I yeah. feel like it's a weird play in some ways. I feel like as a kid, you kind of don't care. You yeah. just want to spend time with your dad, regardless if he's there for genuine reasons or if he's there. You're what, like a backup. Right. right. I guess right. as a kid, you don't feel that. You're like, hey, I'm just getting to do a bike ride with my pops. Totally. Like when you and Mary yes. get in an argument and you're like spending more time with Nixie or Carter, do they say to you like, Dad, it's just because mom doesn't like you right now. This is so true. This is very true. Like <laughs> when you have like, if I, like, I'm going out to the archery range with Nixie. She's really into archery now. So oh, we, we go and she's like, she's just thrilled. She's like, I'm getting Aww. daddy time. It's great. I'm sure Carter gets to go. He loves getting his nails and toes done. His so nails. Like, oh, he's big into Manny Petties. He's very much his. <laughs> Wait, his, isn't he like six? Uh, he's just turned five. And oh, and my He always goodness. has them on point. He gets like different colors on each nail and he loves sitting and getting the spa treatment, his little hand massages. He's very into paying for this stuff mary behind my back it's so expensive these kids these kids <laughs> these kid what? manicures anyway my childhood was not like that i wish i got all that stuff <laughs> i don't know anyway but carter always looks great uh, wow good for him <laughs> all right uh and then our almost news story um there was some climate protesters they filmed themselves uh themselves breaking into a private airfield and spraying jets of orange paint, which basically were coming out of like a fire extinguisher, mm -hmm. which we kind of saw happen at Stonehenge earlier this week as well. Um, Although and leave Stonehenge out of this, man. Right. That's just like a wonder of the world. That one really bothered me. That this bothered one is, me too. Is a protest. I get it. And we'll talk about it, but leave Stonehenge out of this. So they went to this airfield where they had heard Taylor Swift's jet was there parked. They were looking to damage a bunch of jets there. They're trying to take a stand against... I don't know. Climate change. Look, yeah, she's it's... a private jet. She's on a world tour constantly. She's mm -hmm. making so much money by flying globally private. And this is a common thing. Remember when Al Gore did that movie about climate change? And yes. then everyone went after him and said, you fly a private jet yes. to give these speeches. So you're, look, they, they burn a lot of fossil fuels. It is bad for the environment to fly a private jet. Here's the thing that I don't understand. And this will get a lot of, of press because it's Taylor Swift. She's a huge star. And she is on a global tour and uses the private jet. Here's what I don't understand. She flies all around because people want to see her in concert. Yes. If she doesn't fly around, and let's say she was just a U.S. star with all these global fans, she would stay in America, and then they would fly to America on commercial <laughs> flights more often. I think climate change would be worse. It's good that she takes That's one true. jet to go and visit people. So I think it's not fully thought through. But I think people also think, like, why can't you just get on a Delta flight and go That's to true. Stockholm? That's a good point. But then also, she's relying on those flights being on time, not getting canceled, and then, like, what happens if like the jet like goes through some weather da 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 whatever and then it can't get to the concert and, and then the concert's canceled and all these fans are upset and I mean you just can't win she's but... so big how can she board a commercial jet even if she's in yeah. first class if you're walking back to your coach seat and you see Taylor Swift there's going to be a mob of attention I mean totally. the people who love Taylor Swift love her we have one in our office and you can see yes. the we level. have a swifty podcast we got a heavy duty swifty you know what maybe she could take like a hot air balloon yeah it's gotta be like a different like way of trans that would be whimsical <laughs> <laughs> um and then today in history so derek you haven't been here for i this love segment. this new segment yeah tell me all about it so this so, is today, today but in other in years the past. Yeah. yeah it's something that happened on this day and today is june 20th um First of all, today is National Ice Cream Soda Day. Oh, love that. We when was the last a... time you had a, like a root beer float? Oh, you know what? I had an egg cream. You know what an egg cream is? I had one that this past weekend. Disgusting. It doesn't have any eggs in it. It's oh. milk with seltzer oh. and chocolate syrup. It's very this Jewish. sounds like something they make in jail. Oh, it's delicious. <laughs> or <laughs> <Okay>. Jewish delis. <laughs> but it is delicious. It's similar to a float. It's also Take Your Cat to Work Day. Oh. I should have brought pretzel here. Yeah, that pretzel's so cute. I Isn't feel that... like a lot of people have allergies. I want to see that snaggletooth in person. I've only Aww. seen pictures of pretzel, and I want... 
He's pretzel to bring that so snaggle right here. Cute. I do kiss him on the lips sometimes, though, which is a little weird. Your love of cats <laughs> is so deep. I had two cats, but you really. Remember when Grumpy Cat came into the office and we got little pictures with that Grumpy Cat? That was like cat? one of my first contacts when I started working here at TMZ. I'm like, oh, there's this viral cat named Grumpy Cat. And they're oh. like, okay, go ahead, work on it. You brought Grumpy into the office. I brought Grumpy. I and then Harvey met Grumpy Cat at the South by Southwest. And Grumpy Cat famously peed on Harvey. <laughs> I set that whole thing up. What a time to be alive. What a time. <laughs> um, and then today in 1975, Hollywood's first major summer musty blockbuster got released, Jaws. Does Jaws mean anything to you? Jaws is one of it's I mean, I know the song. Me. Like, yeah. da 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 yeah. da Like, yeah, you know, you do the fin thing, like in the <laughs> pool, like stuff like that. Who but... directed Jaws? Steven Spielberg. There you go. Ooh, was, there you go. I, I will with say, the trivia. I, I love it. I did read up about it before this. He was only 27 he was a kid. when he directed. This he was a is kid. wild. And this was a huge blockbuster. Was he a Nepo Black baby? Like, how did he get that No, gig? he was a super talented USC film student. And that whole <sighs> generation, he was like buddies with George Lucas. They made all the biggest movies, those in, guys from the 70s. Insane, but brilliant. Um, and then lastly, today in 2003, from Justin to Kelly was released in theaters. This was massive. I know this may not mean uh, as much to you, but when Kelly doesn't. Clarkson won and the runner-up on the first season of American Idol Jason was Justin, Justin Guarini. Guarini. Justin Guarini. He was very talented. He had that like curly hair. Yes. He was handsome in a very sort of specific way. And they made a movie. And the movie's terrible, I'm yes. going to be honest. <laughs> it was but it was terrible. a cultural phenomenon. They were just like, what do we do? American Idol, people want more of this. And they put them in this movie together, kind of like they used to do the old Mickey Mouse Club, Annette Funicello movies and stuff. Yeah. It didn't really work, but it was a cultural moment. I will say 2003, I was partying. I was a sophomore in high school. I was trying to be like the it girl at every party. I didn't have time for Justin and Kelly. I'm so sorry. I was so a sorry. young law student in the library, but I did go to see this from <laughs> Justin to Kelly. <laughs> that checks out. That checks out. Well, Derek, thank you so much for joining this us was today. Fun. Everyone, go check out the Last Days podcast. Yeah. Get more of Derek on there. Um, but thank you so much for joining us, and we'll catch you tomorrow. See ya.